Well, hello. I'm having problems with the camera this morning. I keep saying the memory card's full and it's not. Monday morning, the 11th of September. So obviously it's a very poignant day in history because of the uh, <clears throat> attacks on America, 9-11. But here in the UK, as much as I feel for them, and I do, I remember that day like it was yesterday. Um, and I will be thinking of those people all day. I still need to earn a living. Um, so I had a sale in the night, that's ready to go off now. So it is slowly, slowly starting to pick up. I hope it does as we move towards Christmas. I have got to go up in the attic because I found a box of packaged shirts, brand new shirts in their original packaging of Paul's that he doesn't want. So I'm gonna pull them down. There's a bit of stock in the other bedroom in a box. I'm gonna pull that out and get that into up to mum's later when I will be doing some photographs. Um, but because I can't go up there till quite late, well, till around 11 o'clock, half 10, 11, I've got a good hour to two hours to chill. But I'm not, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually sit in the bedroom, watch a bit of Marilyn, and I'm going to sort out my Marilyn scrapbook um, stuff. I'm also gonna edit together a couple of videos. So last week's weekly vlog, 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 and the colouring chat I filmed yesterday. So I'm gonna crack on and I will see you later. I am back down from the shed. It is very hot up there, up from the attic rather. It's not as hot as yesterday, because it's still early, but it's still warm and I'm sweating as you can see. So I've got a nice cold Diet Coke out the fridge. I've got a fan on me. I'm just transferring files to the laptop so I can get on that. I am literally melting. <laughs> and I'm going to start sorting out my Marilyn clippings. Oh, I want to be Marilyn. It's all got to be done. So while I'm having an earlier, easier day of it, I could go into town and go around the charity shops, but I think I'm going to do that Wednesday to break up the week. So tomorrow, morning I'll have measuring and drafting to do so that's fine and if it's hot I might even do it in the bedroom it's fine I could do it just in here just as well as I can in the other room as long as I've got the bed set up I've got a, a, a tray table for the bed to put the laptop on to work through um, it's just too hot but this is why I like to have lots of drafts so another thing I want to do over the next couple of days is go up the shed and search for things within the camera lot that came that I can list that's not needing testing. So for instance, not so much lenses because some of them I need to figure out what cameras they go to and I've had an idea on how I might be able to do that. But also the things like there's a pair of opera glasses, they're brass opera glasses. Now they're old, they've got a patina on them, they need polishing. I will list them as is because then the owner can polish them up if they want to or leave them with a patina. Some people prefer the patina. There's a pair of binoculars. I'll give them a quick check over, give them a clean and I can list them. There's a light meter. There's, so there's lots of little bits like that that I can put up. There's also a roller cord instruction manual which I can put up for a few quid. That'll go as a letter. Even if it goes as a large letter, I mean, which is expensive, but it'll go as a letter. It'll go in a normal envelope, but uh, I'm absolutely melting. With, with letters, it large letters, it tends to be the thickness more than anything else. So there are things like that, as well as cameras which need testing. So I'm going to try and fire off the rest of that Olympus roll. And then this afternoon after I picked up Jennifer, I can stand develop it. Oh, I feel sick. Yes, the heat makes me feel sick. I feel terrible. So I'm going to crack on with that now. And I'll update you when I've got all the Marilyn stuff set out that I need to sort out clippings. Now I won't be, I don't think I'll be putting them in the scrapbooks. I'm on a new scrapbook. I don't think I'll be doing that yet. Not yet, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on. Okay, I'm sorting through my clippings now. I've done, and I'll do my draft, my list, listings in a minute. Um, and um, all my folders are mixed up and none of them have got dates on it. I thought I'd written dates on them, I haven't. I'm pretty sure that must be 2012, it's massive. Um, 2012 might, should have quite a lot in it. I think that's where, I just, I'm gonna play. I need a drink. So, I've got my phone. Here, I've got, I am absolutely shattered. I'm gonna go through all the folders, write on them what year they are, so I can uh, put them in the right order. 
So what I do is I put them in with the new, the oldest one on top because that's the one I'm trying to put to actually do the scrapbook for. Um, and I might do a bit because I need to try and empty some folders. The reason being is I've got haven't got a folder for 2023. Now I don't have much for 2023. I have like I think two paper clippings and three magazines, and that's it. There's not been a lot. So I'm glad I'm not completely up to date because then it would have to go into this orange folder and eventually into one of the box folders in the other room. Now I've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how many articles I have, but I would estimate it over 10,000 easy, maybe even more. So I'm gonna crack on with this. I want these in order so that I can start scrapbooking it again. And what the hell is that one there? It's in a plastic folder. Ah! I gotta sort this out. I'm getting stressed. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I've started the long process of transferring from the orange folder all the stuff that I've collected since, not since I've started scrapbooking, but all the stuff I've collected that can't go into a scrapbook at this time because these predate the scrapbooks where I am, if that makes any sense. So for instance, if I got a load of clippings, there is a guy in London who every now and again emails me, emails me and he collects clippings for me. It's brilliant and I always buy them. They're only really cheap. Um, he sometimes gets other stuff, but most of the time it's stuff I've got. So I've got it to you. Um, and he'll send me a package and mostly those articles will be from the current year. Not all of them, but mostly from the current year or the year before, depending. But he does get clippings that predate this, sometimes as far back as the 70s and 80s. Um, and so when I get ones that predate the scrapbook I'm on now, which is 2010, <laughs> so far behind, I put them in an orange folder. This is the orange folder here. So this orange folder can go up to 2010, I believe. It should do. Hang on. So the latest one in there is from 2009 now. Previously the earliest ones were from 1954. I have just this minute put the 54 stuff into the 50s box. Now the 50s, 60s and 70s boxes are really, really light. There's hardly anything in them because it's very expensive to get stuff from that age. I do pick it up when I can if I've got spare money um, because I do like to do it but at the moment I'm trying to digitise the archive. I'm trying to. I would like to. But yeah. And I've just had a quick look. There's a few few bits from the 60s, which is great. It's not a lot. Um, but I'm trying to transfer that over. But it's gonna take a pause now because in a minute I'm gonna go down to my mum's to there's a mess in this room. I keep tidying it up and it gets worse. I just don't know. Um to do some photographs. Uh, when I come back, I'm coming back at one o'clock to have lunch and then I've got to about half past two-ish before I think about going to get Jennifer. So what I'm going to do is have lunch when I come back and then I'm going to come up here and try and tidy up a bit because it was really tidy the other day and now it's a mess again. So I'm going to get it all into their boxes and that way it'll be tidier. I'll also free up this folder I can put this year's stuff in it for now. Um, if I can find any more plastic folders like this or cardboard ones cheap, I, I'll pick them up because I'm just so far behind. I'm never going to catch up. At one point I was caught up and I was literally putting articles into the scrapbook as they arrived. And then I didn't. It was a long time ago. But one day I will. I just... It's an easy storage solution for them at the moment, but I, I would like to be able to actually read the articles I've collected. So. Hey-ho. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to go to my mum's. See you later. Sunday afternoon and I am in the car park. It's early. I just wanted to come out and get some air. It's not as hot today. It's still quite warm. It's a beautiful day. And we're just going to wait for Jennifer now. Um, I managed to back my car into the neighbours at my mum's. Um, I've got a thing on the back for a tow thing. And I forget it's there. So, shit happens. <laughs> Nothing goes right for me, I tell you. Anything that go wrong will go wrong. I swear to God, the world would be a better place if I won in it. Everybody would be better off. But I did get a load of photographs done, which is good. And on Wednesday, I'm planning on going into Newport to try and get some stock, clothing that is. And tomorrow I'm going to, because I'm going to draft this evening on my phone, 
some stuff I photographed today. And then tomorrow I'm going to measure it and get it all ready to list. Put it away, number it, put it away in the boxes. And then I'm going to go up, the, uh, up in the shed, I think, and do as much as I can up in the shed, which is sorting out these, I've got to go up there and bring stuff, pull stuff out if it's not raining, it's probably going to rain tomorrow. But, oh, it's beautiful now. Pull stuff out the shed, um, sort some cameras out, bring down a load of camera bodies that I can test quickly, so Canon, the ones that are worth about 10, 20, 50, 30 quid, not the ones that are worth a lot of money, because I, obviously I know the Canon FE is worth about 100 quid, so I want to put that through proper testing like I am with the other one, which I've got to bring with me, I should have brought it, but I, it's nice enough I can go out in the garden take some pictures this afternoon. I might go out in the garden this afternoon and head up in the shed and try and pull some camera bodies, because there's some stuff I want to find. There's, a, like I said, a pair of um, opera glasses, a pair of binoculars. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go pull some of that stuff out so I can maybe do some of that photographing tomorrow as well because at the moment I can't get all the boxes out in the shed because it's a right mess. So I'm going to do that. But right now I'm going to play on my phone. I'm doing some list challenges. Book ones obviously because I only do book ones. But a lot of them are American so a lot of the American foods and, and restaurants I haven't, tried, I haven't been in so I'm eating gummy bears. They melt really well in the car, they're so lush. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Jen and we'll see if there's somewhere to park in the charity shop. We might pop in. Probably ain't though, it never usually seems to be when I'm around. Yeah. See you later. Well, it's afternoon now, Monday. Jennifer's home. Can you say hello? Hello. And I'm, um, I've drafted some of my stuff already. Well, I've started to put the photos up. I haven't done them all, just one bit. And I have got the headphones on because Jennifer's watching whatever it is she's watching, which drives me up the wall because it's noisy. And I am working on the Marilyn archive here. Now, Jen, can you shush a minute? I don't know what I've done and what I haven't now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that, working on that. Um, I'm working on it the cheaty way, which is to... Uh, oh, it is, it's just printing very slowly and I've got two copies because I like. Some of them I have to type, some of them I have to print. I cheated on this one, I just put the title off, but I can put that on the top anyway, so it's not a major. Okay, let's do my head in. It's ten past nine, everybody's in bed, Jennifer's asleep. If you're a bit down, I'm now I've I've printed up a few articles from the archive and I am putting some of twenty ten into the scrapbook I've got. I haven't I haven't got many. Um this is the only one I've got at the moment. Once I get near the end I will potentially order another one. I had another sale on eBay that's all packed up. So I'm actually on twenty ten. I've also got some stuff to put in a file and then I'm gonna probably go to sleep. Um, I'm tired. Ears itchy. Feel rough. Wondering what the point is. But there is a point, obviously. She's asleep in the other room. I think it's just... I feel like nothing's going right anymore. Nothing ever goes right for me. I start thinking everything's going to be fine and something else goes wrong and... I'm at the point where I just want to give up. I won't, because I've got that little girl. But I want to. I'm going to call it a night, because as soon as I've finished updating this, I'm going to be putting it away, so I'm going to be going to sleep. But I'll see you later. Morning. It's Tuesday morning. Jennifer's off to school. I'm upstairs. I'm going to have a lie down. I feel... I don't feel very well, so I feel really sick. I've got a bad stomach. So I think I'm just going to lie down for an hour or two and then get up and do some bits and pieces to do with me, me eBay. I've got plenty of drafts. If I take a day off, it's not going to be too much. I've still got enough stuff drafted to put straight live. I thought what I might do is, if I feel up to it later, is put batteries in cameras and test camera bodies, uh, put lenses on them just, just to check that they are working properly. And then they can be photographed and listed. There's some, oh, I thought about five or six items. Is there a light meter there? I've brought that up. Um, I feel really sick, so I'm going back to bed for a bit.
um, and I'll see you later. I'm just going to lie in bed, probably doze off, but I'm going to put TV on in the background because I like a bit of noise. My camera's flashing, I will put it on charge in a bit, and I'll see you later. Good afternoon. This is a box camera I've just, I've just received that I bought off of another reseller. There's lenses, flashes, and a few camera bodies. There's one a couple of Pentax bodies. This one here is an MZ7. Then an Emmy Super, and then there's a a Practica in a case. Uh, there's a couple of lenses, uh, filter holders, some filters. Um, that's broken, which is fine. I don't really bother about those. Uh, but nice Pentax vintage Pentax strap on the Emmy Super, I tell you. Um, nice camera bag in there as well. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look, proper look through that tomorrow. Um, I'm still feeling a bit rough today. I've got some cameras here to sort out. I've got a 1000F with its instruction manual. This is the one I'm testing. It's a Canon lens I bought up. And there's another Canon camera and a Pentax P30. This is one, two, three, four. Four cameras I've got to test very briefly uh, and get them listed. Um, and then I'll have a quick look through those and see what I can do with them. So yeah, nice little box. Looks fine to me. I'll have a go with that later. I'm gonna go and sit down, boil and get a drink. So it's Tuesday night, everybody's in bed. I'm in bed, I'm just doing a bit of colouring and I'm watching a bit of um, Finders Beepers History Seekers. Uh, but that's it, I'm feeling a lot better than I did this morning. So fingers crossed tomorrow we will get back to our uh, measuring, drafting, listing stuff, checking cameras. Uh, Friday me and Paul are going to Newport, he's got the day off. So we're gonna go around the Chazers. So I might take you with us, you never know. But for now, that's it for tonight. I'm quite tired and I'm going to have a rest. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Um, Jennifer's in school, obviously. Paul's gone out for a quick walk and I'm about to go and do some um, measuring and putting them into, um, you know, numbers, skew numbers, so I know where they are. Tired. Feel better today. Slept better last night, so that's good. Jennifer managed to stay in her bed till about five o'clock, then she crawled in for a cuddle. Um, so the plan is to do the measuring and putting them into the skew numbers into the bag, ready to go up to the shed. Then I shall go upstairs with my laptop and do the drafting upstairs because I can put what I want on upstairs. I can put it on down here, but I'm currently working through some of my old video cassettes because they're quite fun to watch. Oh. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Um, once I've done all that drafting, uh, depends what time it is. If I've got time, I will then go up the shed with the bag and put it away. Um, that's got to be done anyway. And I've got some cameras that I just want to put batteries in. I'm going to test those at some point today just to check that they're working. If they're working, then I can put them to be photographed and drafted, um, which I'll probably do this morning as well if I get time. I'm just going to get on now and crack on with it and uh, I'll update you as we go through the morning. Okay, I have now measured everything. I've come upstairs, I'm going to sit in the bedroom and do it so I can watch Jump for Blondes on the video cassette. Yes, I know video cassette is old, but something really nice about putting them inside the machine and taking them out. There you go, there's a bit of Marilyn. And yeah, so I'm just checking my tapes so that I watch Blondes now. I love Jam for Blondes. I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to crack on with my work now and see what else I can get done today. Go me. Go me. <laughs> okay, I've had lunch. I've put everything away. Been up into the shed, put everything away. Packed up the one item that sold today. Now technically I don't have to post it till tomorrow, but as I'm going down there, I need to get some cash out for Friday when I go to the town. I might as well drop it in and get it posted today. I'm doing a bit of colouring. I <clears throat> had, had some lunch. Just, I'm so tired. So I'm going to go get some money out, drop that post off, get Jennifer, and then come home. Let's see what it's like down there. It looks lovely out, by the way. Well, made it to the park. Jennifer's playing with her friend Alex. We've had an ice cream from the van. It's a beautiful day. And got my sunglasses on so I'm looking at this camera at the moment this was in the auction lot that I got it is a Canon 3000Z N sorry 3000Z US it's actually got roll film in it and there is about 11 left on it so I'm gonna try and shoot them off this 
this afternoon. I've also got the DOM 10. It's got about 10 shots left in it as well. I'm gonna try and get a shot of those today, and uh, yeah, then I can get them listed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? <laughs> good morning. Wednesday morning. I know I didn't vlog yesterday, but not a lot happened when I got back um, with Jen. What happened when I got back with Jen? I See you know what, we went to the park for a bit, as you know, and then uh, I can't remember what we did. Um, we did some colouring, and we watched some TV, had dinner. What did we have for dinner? We had curry last night. I don't know what we're having tonight. I'll work something out. Fish and chips, maybe. Um, yeah, I read a bit of my book. It's the first time I've read this week. I'm reading Curse and Perficio, The Story of Marin's Brentwood House, which is a really good book by Gary Vitico Rublis, the guy that wrote Icon. So I'm rereading that. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, then when I went to bed, I coloured for a little bit and then I read for a bit longer. I thought I can't get my eyes open. Went to sleep, slept really well. Only woke up twice, I think. One quite early, like 12 o'clock, and then one at five. So this morning I have already done my accounts for eBay. Now obviously I'm not in any profit because I've only just started doing it again. In fact I'm way under profit but it's completely up to date. So all the postage is in, all the QuickBooks because I use QuickBooks to, to, I don't need to, I could probably manage myself but it's just easier. Uh, QuickBook payments, all the post office, all the money I've had in, the items I've bought for resale. So that's some cameras I've got um, from the auction. I bought some cameras from another reseller. One of them will pay for what I did. There's one in there that will more than pay for the box and there's some others in there as well. And my next job is to go into the shed and tidy it up because it's a mess and I will show you that in a second. So as you can see the shed's a right tip. Um, mostly because there's cameras and stuff from auction that I still haven't put away into sorted. So I'm going to try and let's get rid of this cobweb. Sort it into a box um, or two boxes of, cat, of bodies. Um, a box of lenses and a box of camera bags and then I can start looking through it so I'm going to be pulling some stuff out here um, I've got a rubbish bin in there any rubbish I will put in to the bin the clothing is all ordered and up to date which I'm very glad about tidy up my um, stuff at the back my void fill and bubble wrap tidy up around here just make it all easier to get in and out there's some of Jennifer's stuff in here as well we store our Christmas presents and, and Santa stuff in here um, but there's a lot of things like this is a a Sigma lens I have no idea what camera it's for so when I'm sorting through the bodies I will try it and if I can find it I've got bits of paper there that I can make notes on but as you can see the shed is a absolute mess I've got camera bags here that could probably sell I've got one that's really broken and I've got a couple of pairs of binoculars. I've got some Super 8 cameras. I just need to try and get listed. I've got that reel of film. I have no idea what's on there. I might even just try and sell, sell the film on its own. It, it, I put it on auction just for a laugh, <laughs> just to see what happens at 99p. I think I will do that just for, just for fun. I got a ton of Advantix cameras. I just want to put them into a box and maybe job lot them. Mobile phones. Oh, I've got all sorts in here to sort out. But that's my plan for this morning is to get on and sort this out. Hey everybody, so I'm slowly getting there with the shed. It is getting on. I have no idea what time is. Keep putting my phone down, forgetting where I put it. It's actually here. It's 11 o'clock, so it's alright. It's got about two hours before I have to have lunch and stop. I found some stuff I'm going to take up and list. Uh, some of it is as for spares, repairs or displays. For instance, I've got a Polaroid camera here, you can't get film for it. There is, I do have one pack of film for it, which I'll sell with it, but it probably won't work. I've got a Bush tape recorder, I'm going to test that. A couple of cameras that don't take batteries. An old Kodak Instamatic or Instant camera. Um, they don't, you can't get film for them. So that's just one of those ones, it's going to just go as a display piece. Um, there is some stuff to go into the rubbish bin. There's lots of odd bits. There's a, a Samsung charger here with a really, really weird ending. I think it might be for a mobile phone. There are a lot of mobile phones. 
I'll just chuck it in there for now. Um, but haven't got time to go through more. That's Paul's job. Um, and to look for charges from no, I won't put it in there. I'll put it with the mobile phones. Um, but I've got a lot of stuff out on the table because I'm still sorting stuff out. Like for instance, I've got a box of camera cases here, which is great because I can pick one then when I sell something, put a camera in it. I've got a box of stuff here where I'm thinking I don't want to deal with it. So we've got some box cameras and some Polaroids that don't work or you can't get film for, which will be listed at some point for display pieces. I've got loads and loads of filters. I just need to figure out which cameras they're for. Some of them actually say on them, which is fantastic. Some of them don't, which is annoying. And if I can get ones that are for the same camera mount, then I'll just bundle them together and sell them as a lot. I have another box full of cameras, bodies that I'm gonna put in with this lot just to try and get it down. So I've got the thinner boxes, slimmer boxes for um, other stuff. The boxes that some of this stuff in, this box here particularly, and this one eventually will be for clothing, but I don't need it at the moment because I've got plenty of clothing boxes. And, um, other than a few bits of clothing at Mum's, I haven't got a lot of clothing left to do. There is some, but not much. But tomorrow me and Paul are going out to have a look around the charity shops in Newport, see if there's any clothing worth picking up. I don't mind paying a pound for it if it's a decent enough brand. So I'm thinking stuff like Marks and Spencers and even Next and Topshop and stuff like that. But obviously not Primark, not Matlan, not stuff like that. Not you look. But I will. River Island's not too bad. Um, obviously any of the higher ones. So we have some outlet, what they call, they're charity shops where other shops try and sell it and then it goes to for a pound. We've got one or, one or two of those in Newport and I do love them. And so you do get stuff like Ovis and Mint Velvet and stuff in there for a pound sometimes and I will pick it up. Even if it's a tiny size, even, even size six and eights need to wear clothes. <laughs> I'm just sitting out here thinking, oh, it's still a mess in there and I cannot get it sorted. But uh, it is slowly, slowly getting there. I've got this Nikon here that I want to test. I've got a Zenit here. I'm going to take that up to test. And like I said, I'm just putting miscellaneous bags of straps, which is good. And backs for cameras. Oh, I'm just trying to... Cables, I have no idea. That's, another, that's a normal cable. That's a, that's a cable I can actually use with my Canon camera. So, um, lots of digital cameras that I cannot actually test simply, simply because I don't have battery charges for them. So, I mean, I keep buying these lots and eventually you will get charges for things like, you know, there may be some in there. There's some more stuff lurking around. <laughs> it's, it's scary. Um, but the thing is to get these camera bodies listed, tested and listed. There's a few in here. I've got a couple of Zenits there as well. I've got this really nice one. I've got three Nikons, loads of Canon. The problem with the Canon is sometimes I've got the batteries and sometimes I haven't. I have to literally go looking for them. <sighs> Where I can, I'll stick a lens on it and sell it with a lens. Just simply because camera bodies sell all right, but they sell better if they've got lenses on them because people want to go out and take photos so unless you're looking to replace a body so for instance if you've got a, a particular camera and you want a particular body because your body's broken for whatever reason then it's very difficult to uh, sort it out i've got lots of lenses that i hate lenses they're my least favorite thing because unless it tells you what they are like unless it's got nikon on it or canon on it or pentax on it you don't know what camera it's for i've never not found a way of checking it other than testing it on various bodies and eventually I get there. I've got some dead batteries to take up. I've got some proprietary batteries that might be all right. Um, sorry, some other ba you know, some weird batteries. Loads of filters and oh, the filters are doing me a in as well. I got like this little Vivitar camera. It's really tiny. It's got a memory card in it as well. Please use a four six SD card. How you get it out? I've got no idea. I always like things like that because it's the vesti cards. There might be photos on it, and there are a few of them around. So I am going to keep looking. There is more stuff. I just don't know where I put it because I've put stuff in um, uh, other places. But I'll worry about that later. I've got a reel of, of um, 
shot film, 8mm film. I have no idea what's on it because it's so tiny I can't see it. I've got no way of digitising it. It's on a projector but the projector's a bit dodgy. I'm probably just going to scrap the projector. Uh, and then, but I want the film. I might just sell the film as it is. Because I can't see what it is. I would need a magnifying loop. I have got one somewhere. That's just where it is. But I'm getting thirsty and my tea's gone cold so I'm going to start tidying up. And, and this, I owe you, I owe you. I have no idea what this is. I, you take the top off. It's funny. There's some of the things in here. And, and that's what it is. And I have no idea what that does. It's got two pins in it. Do not throw in your bin. Micro. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up, I think. Anyway, I'm going to crack on because I do want to um, have another drink in a minute. I'll see you in a bit. So the shed is not perfect, I'll admit that, but it is a lot better. Uh, I can now get in properly. Obviously there's a... It goes over in that corner. I've got some of those, I don't need any. This is stuff I've still got to sort, but my back's aching and I'm thirsty. Box of film cases, you know, camera cases. Box of lenses, two boxes of SLRs. Stuff I don't want to deal with. Miscellaneous rubbish. All listed. Again, stuff I haven't dealt with yet, including lots of Advantix and digital cameras. Here I've got a load of Advantix digital cameras and some mobile phones. There's a charger up there for, I think, a mobile phone. Got four camera cases that are pretty good condition that I can clean up and sell. I got more cameras down in the house. Another one of these. Let's put that in as well. We don't need that. But I'm just glad I can get in. Now if I need to get any of the clothing, I can just pull the bags out and the boxes out the way. And it's going to be a lot easier. Now the only thing I haven't done yet is this. This is a Langston Chanel projector. I want to take this film reel off. Um, and potentially sell it. We got, a, we, got a little, we got a little friend in here today, like we are spider. I, I don't like him, but I just ignore him. So there's some shopping bags. We've got to take them down later. But I've got two to go down now with stuff I'm going to test in. And hopefully, I can start getting some sales in. Fingers crossed. But that's all sorted for now. I'll put those camera cases back in. They'll just go on the top of the box, but if I need something from that bottom box, I can just pull it out. That is the only bit that needs sorting, and I've had enough, and I'll do it another day. It's gone. I don't know what time it is. Two, I think. Oops, there goes on my markers. It's ten past two. Um, just put the washing away. That's one of my favourite jobs, not. Um, I don't bet I'll go and get Jennifer. Uh, put these away. Just tired, very tired again today. No sales, but that's it happens like that sometimes. eBay's an up and down thing. Oops, a bit of the top. I look for that, it might be in the box. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to go and look for this top. I'll be back in a bit. And that top, yeah, it was in the box. Um, so yes, um, with eBay, it's, sometimes it goes slow. Hopefully, it'll pick up again. Um, I'm going to photograph some rolls of films and a couple of other cameras I got ready and put them up, get them listed or drafted. The film I'll put on at auction and because it's always fun, it's always fun to have an auction. I'm, I'm very red in the face, aren't I? It's not even hot, but I'm really red. I forgot to have a pressure this morning. I'm supposed to take it every day, twice a day, and I keep forgetting. I will do it when I get, I'll do it this evening and uh, see what happens. And I'll make up too because I missed it last night as well. It's like you start doing stuff and you just forget, you get busy. So anyway, it's getting on. I'm gonna go downstairs, have a drink, go to the toilet before I go and get Jen. Yay! It's Thursday night and Paul's just putting Jennifer to bed, bless him. She went up on her own, we've just gone to make sure that her lights are on all right. I'm just gonna chill in front of the TV for half an hour, bed myself, just had a shower, dried my hair, all was nice, needed that. I'm actually doing some, um, list challenges. I always do the book ones. I don't really do many of the others. I mean film sometimes but I don't watch a lot of films anymore sadly and I don't 
Um, a lot of the food uh, ones and city ones are all American based, so I might do them every now and again just to have a go. But I love I love living books, and I found some good books on here to read. So by doing it, so it's always worth doing it. You can hear it, what it says. Um, yeah, so really enjoying it. So tomorrow we're off to town. Have a look around the proud shops. I'm going to see if the Nikon FE works and if it does I'm going to put a film in it and take it with me because I would like to um, run a roll of film through it very quickly it's not easy with 36 images develop it and scan them in and then I can put photographs of I've taken with it in in the listing as well so yeah but I'm gonna crack up the camera is worth about 200 quid so it pays for most of the auction lot so that's good if it was working so fingers crossed for me Good morning, it's Friday morning, Jennifer's in school and we're about to go and have a look around the shops in town and see what they've got, if anything. Gets out of the day, have a wander around, be nice. See you there. We're in Newport now, but we can have a look at the building work. This used to be Newport Leisure Centre, where I saw my first band, which was OMD, back in 1990. Just about to see. Shopping. In town, it's about, well, it's just gone nearly 20 to 11 and it's quiet, it's lovely. i um, been in two shops, bought 11 items already, with a really nice Jacques Ver coat for a pound. Very nice, I've got some other nice items, you know, nothing really major expensive to sell but stuff I should be able to get a profit on which is good. Um, but yeah, it's very quiet. What used to be John Cross Square. It's really weird. Um, stopped at Starbucks. Don't often have a Starbucks. Then we'll walk up to the other end of town and work our way back. It's turned out to be quite a nice day. Sadly, the best charity shop I wanted to go in was closed, but that's okay because I'll probably be back down on my own next week and I'll start there at that end. But we're hungry, so it's time for a subway. We haven't had a subway for ages, have we, Paul? No, and I'm eating it. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm going to eat mine now. Friday evening I bought 13 items and spent a grand total of £13 in the charity shops but we did buy some stuff for Jennifer for Christmas. It's a nice evening, she's out on the lane playing with the next door's kids and that. And I'm, found I'm sitting here reading a book about Fatty, Roscoe Fatty Arbor. This is by Andy Edmonds who wrote Hot Toddy about Thelma Todd. I haven't got that one. I do want it. Paul is reading something called This is Going to Hurt the Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor. So I'm going to read that after him. I'm just sitting out here in the garden. It's quite nice at the moment. You can hear next door. But having a good laugh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to read my book for a bit. It's getting late. Paul's gone to bed and Jennifer is next door in the tub and I want her back. Oh, it's getting on. So I'm going to go to the toilet and go and see if I can rescue her. And then it's time for bed because I'm really tired. Anyway, let's go see if I can find her. Hey everybody, it's Saturday afternoon. Jennifer and Paul have gone down the park. Something going on down there. I was I just had some lunch. I'm going to get dressed and go down and join them in a minute. But I'm really tired today. Um, got Jen back about 10 o'clock last night and she went to sleep in my bed. And I don't sleep as well when she's with me because she wriggles and moves and kicks and... It wakes me up, so I'm really tired. But I'm going to go and get dressed in a minute and head down the park. And uh, then we might ring my dad and see if he wants a drink, go to the pub. Uh, next week, I've got to take him, we don't have to, but I'm going to take him to Newport for his COVID vaccination booster. Um, and then next weekend, we've all got our flu jabs. It's all going there. But yeah, so I'm going to go and get ready to go down to uh, see what's going on. So we're in the pub on my third pint. I've had a portion of chips, I've had a hot dog because they're doing hot dogs. We've got a big barbecue going even though the weather's not brilliant. Jennifer's here. Say hi to your fans. Hi fans. Paul's here. 
Delicious. We're still in the pub and it's burgers off the barbecue. Jennifer, not so much. I'm playing games. I'm playing games on my phone. We're back in the pub now and I have actually finished this roll of film that was in the Olympus OM10. I've cut the end of the leader off. I'm going to load it in a tank and I'm going to do something called a semi stamp development. This is where you put in very little developer. So it's one, millimet one mill milliliter of developer for 100 milliliters of water. You agitate it for the first 30 seconds and then you leave it for an hour. You can come and agitate it at the 30 minute mark, hence semi stand. And it just means it's a lazy, it's a lazy girl's way to develop in film. It just means you don't have to worry about it for half an hour to an hour. So I'm going to get this loaded up and yeah, I've got another roll of film I want to do that with as well. So I might do that um, at the half an hour mark. So I'll just let you know. So I've just put the roll of film in here. God, that took me three attempts, but it's in there now. So I'm going to get that one going and then I'm going to set up another one. And the other roll I'm going to load into a tank to do later is this one. This one was in a camera I got, a uh, Zeiss Iconta 522. Um, so I'm going to stand about this as well because um, it's an old film, don't know how old, don't know how long it's been there. So I'll put it in a tank and we'll do that one later. I managed to get that roll of uh, very chrome pan in a tank but it took a while, it was hard going. I don't know how long that film's been in that camera, but I think it's a long time because the backing paper was actually stuck to the film. Uh, so I'm not sure whether I'll get anything off of it, but it's worth a try. We'll like, put it on for an hour and a bit after I finish this one and we'll just see what happens. Got nothing to lose. It's only a little bit of water and um, like six, seven hundred millilitres of developer. Six, seven millilitres, not seven hundred. Um, but we'll, we're going to see how the album goes first and then we'll try this one. Okay, so sadly there was nothing on the very chrome pan. There is on here. You can't see it's too dark, but they are on there. They are fine. I will try and set up my computer and scan it. Well. That's where I cramped it on the thing. I do have a problem with it, so it's fine. They've come out all right, so I can get that camera listed. Uh, I've just got to try and get the uh, Nikon FE working next. But yeah, um, I'm going to go off to bed now and read my book for a little while, maybe. And we'll have a look at these uh, tomorrow on the computer. It's Sunday. That means we've got to go food shopping. Jennifer doesn't want to go. She's in a funny mood. She had a bad dream. Paul's all right. And uh, yeah, Sunday's great. Let's get the shopping done and see what else the day brings. Woo! Back home from the shopping now. It's absolutely hammering down. Um, I'm going to put the washing away. You see the little cat up there, look. There she is. I watched down for the blondes, but as Ed does this, she sits there and looks out. If she wants to, she can get out that way as well. She's so cute. You going out, Zed, or is it too wet? I think it might be too wet. Coming back down? Do it on there. Just updated my reading journal. I'm on 93 I've read this year, which is way behind. Um, I don't have covers for those two. I'm still missing a few, so I did for that one. So what I'll do is I'm going to put those three on the the list. Um, and then I can print it up soon, hopefully. I think I need another two. But yeah. Still a few missing. Haven't made much... Um, inroads on this TBR list this time to be honest there's still quite a lot there have been a few like this page I've read quite a lot off of um, that's, an, that's what I'm currently reading up here which is this one I'm going to finish that I won't be long on that one then I find someone else to read so I'm going to go downstairs now put the washing away um, yeah, um, get some food I'm a bit peckish do yourself up <laughs> around you. It's a Tyrannosaurus duck! Quack! Quack, quack! It's a bit scary, this Tyrannosaurus duck. Quack. See, I told you! Quack! Quack. <laughs> Quack. Oh, Jennifer's just had her bath. 